I'm Dr. Nick Gilson from the School of Human Movement and Nutrition Sciences at the University of Queensland. In this series of short videos, we'll be introducing the concept of energy balance and looking at how workers in the manufacturing, construction, resource and transport industries can improve their health by making small changes in the way they work. Energy balance is the difference between how much energy we take in through food and drink and the energy we use when we move. Balancing the energy scales can help achieve a healthy body weight, lower the chances of developing problems such as heart disease and diabetes, and improve how we deal with fatigue and stress. Managing energy balance and work can be difficult because work commitments and time pressures often lead to inactivity and a poor diet. But the good news is that energy imbalance and weight gain aren't inevitable consequences of the work you do. Making the right lifestyle choices can balance the energy scales and make a real lasting difference to your health. Being aware of how much time you spend moving and what you eat and drink are the first steps towards making healthier choices. Before making any changes, self-monitoring can help you become aware of the types of choices you're already making. Health apps can help with this, or you can simply make a written note of your daily activity and what you eat and drink during the week. Once you've built up a picture of your movement and diet choices, you're ready to target unhealthy habits and behaviours. You don't have to make big changes to make a difference. In fact, big changes are much harder to make and more difficult to maintain. Small changes that become an important part of your regular work routine are the way to go. These types of changes can help you tip the energy scales in your favour. For example, try alternating between sitting and standing during admin tasks or toolbox meetings. Changing your body position will activate muscles and get your blood flowing. Also look for opportunities to move whenever you can and gradually increase the amount of moving you do. Use a parking space furthest away from the depot entrance. Find the time to take a 10 minute walk with a mate during a work break or ride your bike to work once a week. These are great ways of getting energy expenditure back into your workday. As well as moving more, also think about stretching and toning exercises. A 30 minute visit to the gym once a week can help you stay trim, strong and flexible. If the gym doesn't appeal or you don't have time, there are other options. Use the natural environment and your own body weight. 10 push-ups and 10 leg squats three times each day will give your muscles a good workout. Good energy balance also means making good choices about the fuel you put in your body. This is particularly important because it's easier to consume energy than to burn it, which means weight gain can creep up on you. For example, you would need to run 30 minutes non-stop to burn off a full sugar can of soft drink. Manage the energy you take in by avoiding fried processed foods high in fat and sugar. Choose fresh food and lower fat sugar options, rich in vitamins, minerals and fibre. If it's difficult to find healthy food at work, take control over what you eat by preparing your own meal. Homemade sandwiches, salads or a cooked meal of lean meat and steamed vegetables are good choices. For work snacks, think fruit or mixed raw nuts to give you a boost, rather than chocolate or chips. Finally, drink plenty of water and stay hydrated. Avoid energy or sports drinks and high sugar soft drinks. Use low fat rather than full fat milk and try not to put sugar in your tea and coffee. Good energy balance is your choice. Be aware of how much you move and what you eat and drink. Move more. Choose food and drinks low in fat and sugar. In our next videos, we'll hear from companies and workers from your industry on how they are making the right choices for healthy energy balance.